Where's your stick? Hey, Michael. This is his stick. Michael. Oh, you gotta go potty. Here's got to go potty. This is my plants, and look how this ear is starting to grow up here. It's gonna be so pretty. Got the idea from my friend Cindy. And the other plants that was over here. Mike, oh, you gotta. Oh, we don't want to do that. We'll pause it for a minute. You gotta go potty too. What you doing there? Look, look, look what mommy's got. Look, I got a stick. Want a stick? Oh, oh okay. Now he's gonna go potty too. We'll pause it. Look what mommy's got. Mama got the stick. Want the stick? Here, go get the get the stick. What are you gonna do with the stick? Where are you gonna take it? Wanna play fetch? Here, wanna play fetch with the stick? Here, see this? Here. Sometimes he try. <laughs> He's gonna try and take it in the house. The stick's bigger than he is. I tried to get one earlier. These are mainly for Judy and Carol. And Tim Hoffman and everybody that likes it, and and uh, Jim Scott, I think your name is. Here, hey, Mister, look what Mommy's got. Look, Mike, Mike. Here, Mike. Here, no, let me throw it first. Let me throw it. Well, you got to let me throw it. Give it to me. Give it to. Me. Give me. Give me. Get, get those straws off of there. Here, look. Go get it. Go get it. No, go get it over here. Look, you're making Mommy. Look, look, hey, Michael, what's that sound? Here, go get it, go get the stick. There you go, bring it back to Mama. Bring me the stick, bring it to Mommy. Good boy, yes. Here, you want to do it again? Go get it. Here, go get the stick, it's right here. Look, look, it's right here. Michael, look what Mommy's got. Look, hey, Mike. Here, here, go get the stick. Bring it to Mama. Bring it to Mommy. Oh no, you're supposed to bring me the stick. What are you doing, silly boy? No, no, over here. Right here. Look. Look, Mommy's got it. Oh, he's got a leaf. He says, no leaf leaf. And he thinks I'm going to take it away. Man, he's fast. Look. Now you know how to get him on a leash. Look how fast he is. <laughs> he knows I'm trying to get him, so he'll run, 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 run around the plant. Come, come to mom. Look, mommy's got the stick. Got the stick. Go get it. Go get it. Now bring it to mama. Bring it to oh. You're supposed to bring it to mommy. Bring it to mommy. Here. I want to get a picture of him or a video because he'll sit and he'll listen to my voice and he'll watch himself. Stop. Twerp. Get look at mommy. Here, here. Look what mommy's got. Go get it. Go get it. Go get the stick. Where are you going? Alright, well that's enough of that. Anyway, I want to show you just pick pictures. Because I love my baby. God bless all of you. And I just appreciate all your prayers and, you know, uh, the comments and people talking to me and, you know, helping me through some of the things that I'm going through and not getting tired and exasperated because you pray. Oh, he's going in the house. Let's see what he's going to do. And that, uh, you just love me the way I am. Mike, where are you? Oh, now you're going to get water. Good boy. Good boy. So anyway, I just want to say thank you guys. And, um, you know, when the Lord called me into ministry, I really didn't know what it was going to be. I mean, I, I've seen myself in front of, like, Lots and lots of people, you know, and with a pulpit. And my son wants to get me a pulpit, too. He said, Mom, what would it take to get a pulpit when we moved to Texas? I said, I don't know, baby, but you know how excited I get sometimes. You'd have to nail that thing down. Can't catch a breath. Hang on. He said, you have to nail that thing down. So I get so excited. But today he turned the doctor's office into a pulpit. And, you know, if I couldn't talk about Jesus, you know, and what he does for me, and it sounds like I'm just talking about myself, but it doesn't. But I'm not, you know. Um, you hear Jesus all the time. And that's what comes out of my mouth, what Jesus has done for me. I guess he wants something else now. And, um, you know, he is just such a good God to me. And he's a very good God to you, too, if, if you can just, you know, be quiet for a little while and hear and listen and, and just believe you know you have to have faith and faith and 
And faith is an action. Faith is an action that you have to put into action. You know, it's not just something that you can feel, even though you can feel it. And, um, you know, I've said this before, and I'll say it over and over. You know, I, I ask the Lord, or I give the Lord my mind, my will, my emotions, my thoughts, my motives, and my attitudes, and I ask Him to guard my heart, protect my mind, and tame my tongue. And then I ask the Holy Spirit to um, indwell my personality and my character. And when I run across difficult people, which I have lately, you know, uh, it, it's not easy not knowing what to do, you know, because I know sometimes I can be very selfish. However, you know, when people give me things like toilet paper, you know, a puppy, or, you know, they help me out with a quarter here or a dollar there, or, you know, not very much of that happens with the money situation, but, you know, they bring me food when I'm not feeling well, and that's what I've found here in Texas. I've found a lot of that kind of help, and I, I can't give back physical things, but what I give you is my heart and my soul and my mind and my Jesus, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer. You know, I give you Jehovah Jireh, my provider, and yours too, if you believe in the cross. You know, and it's, it's such an exciting, it's such an exciting life for me that, you know, when I came home today, I went to the store and I came back, but, you know, it wasn't too exciting when uh, the muscles right here, you know, uh, they, it starts right here in my arms, and it literally feels like both, of it, and it happens, well, both my arms are, are feeling, they're, they're being pulled back, that's how I know an attack is coming, the Lord lets me know by my arms feeling like they're being pulled back, and then the muscles right here, and my shoulder, between my shoulder blades and my bottom back, and today they actually included my stomach muscles, and they, they gather right here, and they just congregate right there, just go, me, and, and I can't breathe, I can't catch my breath, and I'm trying to drive my wheelchair home, and just saying, Jesus, you know, help me get home, and having to stop and pant, and, you know, just breathe, try and breathe while I'm still trying to drive home, and they're going to wire my house here, they're going to wire my house with Medic Alert, you know, and also they're going to, next month I'll be getting, uh, a necklace, you know, for to wear around my neck, and hopefully we'll be able to train, or God will train Michael, Mike, you know, to um, to bark his head off. And so today, when I got home, one of the office managers, she saw that I was having an attack on my way home. She says, "Are y'all right?" And I'm like, "Well, no, not really." And I told her what was going on, and she asked me if I wanted to call an ambulance. I said, "No." I've been through too much today, and I was really fretting about Michael, you know, because he has to stay in this bedroom here. I give him all of his toys. Oh, shoot. I, I, give, I give him all of his toys and, you know, of course, food and water and everything. But still, it's like he thinks that he's being, you know, punished or something. And so, I again, I pray for the puppy because I never thought I'd have a puppy. My son was in here the other day, and I said, did you ever think this would happen? He said, no. So we both know that it was Jesus Christ that put this puppy in my heart and, and, and in my soul. You know, and he'll sleep right here. He'll curl up right here. And, you know, I can smell his breath and his little fur on my face with his heart beating next to mine. And then he'll, I'll cuddle him up right here in the crick of my shoulder around his, his little butt. And then he puts his neck right here on my neck, and we just sleep together. And see, I never let the cats do that before. And so that's how I know that Jesus is working with me and why, you know, Michael was a gift from God, literally. Everything is a gift from God, you know. And, however, having a puppy, never thought, you know, I would. And so right now I'm looking for a puppy babysitter that can take Michael and that will love him and that, you know, Michael will love back, that they'll listen, he'll listen to them when, you know, they, because uh, all I have to do is just say Michael or Mike and he'll, he knows by the tone of my voice whether he's in trouble and he'll lay his little ears back or, you know, whatever else and he'll, he'll come back to me and not follow his mommy dog or his doggy mom or the, his nana, Cindy. Or maybe my son Joey, whom he just loves, because he's learned how to climb right there on that, that sofa. What are you doing, child? See what he's doing over here. And so, you know, I just love it when God lets me share. What are you chewing on? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, crap. Good thing it's already broken. What are you doing, kid? This is a no-no. No. I said no, no, no. 
Uh uh. Get back. Get away from it. No. I'll take it back in the bedroom. You can't have it. Here, eat your ball. Grab your ball. So anyway, I just want to say thank you for everybody that's out there. You know, um, I've gotten more friends on Facebook and here in Texas since um, I moved out here. And I, I am, I didn't know why I was coming out here. And today I really believe it's because of my grandson. And, you know, right now it doesn't seem to be in the cards. But like with Michael and it being unexpected and even this thing, you know, that that railing for the bed or for the bathtub was very unexpected. I didn't think I'd get that. I didn't even ask for it, you know. And so the Lord is just so good and He gives us with everything. And all He wants us to do is just sit like we are now. Just sit and talk to you. He wants you to talk to Him the way that I'm talking to you and the way we just so freely speak on Facebook. That's how He wants us to speak to Him. And just sit and be in silence with Him. And and admire, you know, when you look at somebody, look in their eyes. Don't just look at their hair or their clothes or whatever. Look into their eyes and see Jesus. Hear Jesus. Don't look at the outside. And, you know, I wrote on Facebook the other day, you know, don't put pastors, ministers, ministers, preachers, you could tell from the past, don't put us on a pedestal because we will fall. So if you see us doing something wrong, like, you know, I lied for a couple of weeks about having Michael. And when I say I lied, it means that I hid him from the office because I didn't have the first $150 or the $300 deposit and I was totally afraid that they wouldn't let me keep them and their answer was no at the beginning I mean and then like 10 minutes later they changed their mind and I know that was Jesus but see what God taught me during that time was I was having faith in them and not him and so now I'm you know there's other things going on in my life like my grandson you know and uh, my son and his mom, the child's mother, and even the grandparents or whoever, they are not, they're, they're not in charge, you know. They aren't in charge. Jesus Christ is in charge. And, and look at that little face. How can it not be, there not be a God with that little puppy's beautiful face? So, anyway, I just want to say that I love you. Judy Niles, you've been awesome to me. And, uh... Alicia, I would like to ask you a question if you want to come down and say hi. Uh, I'm in 165. So God bless everybody, and I love you, and just spend time with the Lord. You know, I, I can't really I read too much. I, I read my other books, and I, I do read the Bible. I don't read it as much as I should, because for some reason it's making me sleepy. I don't get that part at all. And But, uh, you know, oh man, i got to get that tail because he's chewing on the dang thing again. But anyway, just sit with Jesus and say, thank you, Father. And whenever you get something, if you find 10 cents on the ground, say, thank you, Jesus. If you get, you, if you get a, a raise at work, say, thank you, Jesus. You know, when you come home and your wife and children are, or your husband, you know, and, you know, whatever kind of situation you're in with your family, say, thank you, Jesus, because Jesus gives them to you. And there is nothing that was made that was not made for him and by him and for for him to give to us, you know. And so I love you, and God bless you, and we'll watch the puppy just for a few more minutes. Thank you. Oh, he, look, that's the first time he's learned to make it speak on his own. He's, oh, yeah, see? He just now, that's the first time. Oh. <laughs> there. Him learn how to do it by himself. Him's growing up. I mean, he, like I said, he's got two speeds. Stop and go. I mean, just go very, very fast and just stop. And because he'll be playing on my bed here. This is his little spot, his blankie. Blankie here. This is his spot here with the pad underneath. But he, he sleeps here on Mommy's neck and stuff right here. And so anyway, God bless you. And just thank Jesus for everything. And if you're not saved, please change your mind change your thinking because first we have to have right thinking before we can even have right believing and if, if you feel that tug on your heart if something I say or other people say if they're talking about themselves and you feel convicted which means feeling guilty if you feel guilty and if you feel uncomfortable around that person like I know I've made people feel around here you know when I tell them that it makes me feel you know this way or that way when I do certain things 
you know, maybe they're doing, the, y'all are doing the same thing, and if you feel that way, then that is the Holy Spirit doing his job, judging, convict, we're not judging, really, but convicting, teaching, guiding, you know, that is his job, that's why God said, I will not leave you alone, I will not leave you orphans, I will send you the Holy Spirit, and he will, he won't speak of himself, he will speak of my, of what my Father says, and so, when we speak, we speak what our Father speaks for us, because when I wake up in the morning, part of my prayer is, Jesus, when I get on Facebook, please don't let me say anything that you don't want me to say, you know, and guide my speech on Facebook, Google, out there in the world at the doctor's office, in here with company, or just by myself, and also, you know, how I treat Michael, you know, because I'm a first-time puppy parent, and so God has just been so totally awesome to me, and I want him to be awesome to you. You just have to give in. You have to change your thinking in your mind. You know, and, and, oh shoot, sorry. And, and you feel that tug deep within that God's calling you, you know, or you feel something toward the Lord, or, or the, uh, after not believing, and don't stomp on that. Don't stomp on that and say no, you know, because that's not going to work, because the time is coming, you know, I know that people have been saying that for 2,000 years, but the time is coming when Jesus Christ is coming back. I love you, God bless you, and thank you for hearing and listening. Father, I praise you and I worship you and I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, you are worthy to be praised. I lift up every single one of my friends out there and my family, because nearly 99% of everybody on Facebook is my family, you know, Father God, because we're brothers and sisters and you are our father, and you are our brother, you said that we, you call us brother and hang on the puppies, and you know, so... God, I just thank you, and uh, I just ask you to just keep working on all of our hearts, and I thank you for giving us each other, and I thank you for letting us share what we share, you know, on, and, and books and everything, and especially I lift up Jeff Sears to you right now, and I ask you to heal him, Father God. Let this other chemotherapy work, Father God. I thank you, Father God, and I praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, and I thank you for just filling uh, Myrtle, Myrtis, and and Hardy and Cindy and all the rest of the ow, puppy and the Sears and the Colsons, Nancy, Mason Colson and Amy and uh, everybody at the church, Pastor Wayne, Pastor uh, Kevin and uh, I miss all of y'all and Byron out there and Mark out there and Josie. I miss all of you guys and I just love you. God bless you. Bye bye. What you got, Mike? Hey, what you got there? What you got there? Him comes running. Him knows his name. Hey, baby. Hey, God bless everybody. Bye-bye.